What's up, dudes? Max here, and welcome back to another episode of Real Talk, specifically focusing on certain elements within fighting games, things I'm passionate about, or things going on within the fighting game community. And I know a lot of folks that watch my videos are just new to the fighting game community that don't really understand that there's this huge competitive element and this thing that exists all around the world for fighting games and people go across the world to compete against each other. And there's something that's been happening over, well, pretty much the past six or seven months that has brought a certain game that was very popular for quite a long time down to a pretty low level. And that's kind of the defamation of Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Ever since we got confirmation from Capcom that they no longer have the Marvel license or even can distribute the Marvel licensed games, Ultimate Marvel 3 in the competitive circuit and as far as stream viewers and everything has kind of taken a turn for the worse. Uh, viewer numbers go down and for the longest of times, this game was the plateau. It was the highest ranked game as far as viewership and everyone was waiting for Marvel. When's Marvel? All those memes, all that stuff existed for very good reasons. People wanted to see it. It was popular right next to the Street Fighter 4 series. Marvel was up there for a damn long time and it's been going down, and this is mostly because there's very little future for the game. There's also been some notable players like Moons, who recently came out and said this in interviews for Event Hubs, if you guys want to check that out on their site, stating that exact reason that a lot of the competitive players, a lot of the guys that were hardcore into Marvel, and the reason you don't see them on the games anymore, and the reason the tournament numbers for the game at certain events aren't as high as they used to be, is because the game does not have a future, um, especially for other competitive games that are really big, and you guys understand that Capcom pretty much controls a huge, huge amount of the competitive fighting game scene because it really is focused around Capcom games, is like Street Fighter 4, and Street Fighter 4 has a future. Ultra Street Fighter 4 is coming out not too long from now, and that game actually has an update, so you're seeing this huge influx of players that are now arriving into the Street Fighter scene. All these guys that are trying to be the best of the best, focusing on getting the best they possibly can be before Ultra comes out, and hey, I can't lie, man, with the kind of, like, deprived amount of Capcom games coming out, and especially that of fighting games, there's just nothing on the horizon for them besides like Deep Down for PlayStation 4, which is a free-to-play online Dark Souls style game. Beyond that, I don't know of anything else. We're pretty much waiting until E3 to actually hear what they're doing, and by that time, Ultra Street Fighter 4 is gonna be out. So now all these people are gearing up toward it. I'm getting excited for it because I'm like, this might be one of the only opportunities we have to jump into a Capcom fighting games, which, which I love these games, but there's just nothing else out there, and a lot of these guys are feeling like they have to jump ship from some other games to get into the Street Fighter stuff because that's where all the competition is, that's where all the money is, and this is really focused around these dudes that kind of make these games popular because they play them and they talk about them, and a lot of these players have kind of gone back on their words, and many dudes have had bad things to say about Marvel for a very long period of time, and now it's just getting worse and worse and worse where the overall viewership is starting to go down as well, and that kind of bums me out. I don't think Ultimate Marvel 3 deserves that. I find it funny that Ultimate Marvel 3 had essentially received a fate all too similar to Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but it's just the way the game rolls. And because we're never gonna see an update to Virgil, we're never gonna see balance adjustments made to zero, or anything else done to the rest of the cast to make them ultimately as good, if not maybe better, than these characters, then people are just like, well, forget it at this point. It's a lot different than back in the day, especially in the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 scene where you had these established teams that everyone knew was good, and if you really wanted to play that game, you played that team. Um, and it was very obvious whether or not you played that team. And you were like a competitive dude and you wanted to win. And you know what? We just accepted that. And it felt good when you use like a goofy team to take down something like that. It actually had this element of like, yeah, I did it. Like, this was, this was me. I did this. I, I overcame the best stuff in the game. And I think that really, really is established for Ultimate Marvel 3 right now. Like, if you take down a, like, a Virgil and Zero and Doctor Doom team, you feel good about it because at that point you're taking down the best there is at the game. And I've tried my best to get back into the Marvel vs. Capcom series, and a lot of people have been asking me for a very long time, Max, when's Marvel? What the hell happened to all your Marvel videos? Marvel, where to go, where to go? Where to go? And it's, it's quite literally been about six months since I've played a Ultimate Marvel 3 match. And because of this, I want to change it. The biggest reason this happened was honestly because there were other fighting games that were providing an online experience that was a lot better than Ultimate Marvel 3, which I think just kind of really hurts the game in general. Ultimate Marvel 3 plays great from, like, local connections, and it's not bad at all. 
all. But dude, the majority of those matches, if you try to jump on ranked or anything, if there's any distance at all, runs very bad. And it's kind of disappointing, we all know this exists, and that definitely doesn't help the entire situation. And my reason specifically was that, man, it's just easier to play these other games that have amazing online. These are the ones I'll consistently play because the online is that good. And I only hope things might get a little bit better for Ultra Street Fighter 4. We're gonna find out very soon, but what I want to prove with this video is that I don't think Marvel is dead. I don't think the defamation of Marvel is exactly right at all. And even though I've had my nitpicks about the game and it makes you very salty, there's just no denying that at all. I want there to be kind of a resurgence of this game, and I want to bring Ultimate Marvel 3 back to the channel. So all of you guys that have been out there requesting me to make videos about Ultimate Marvel 3, get back into the game, relearn how to play it, there's going to be an opportunity for me to do so, and we're going to have a return of Marvel coming up after this video on the next day. And to conclude along with that, we're also going to have special mention of stuff from Marvel vs. Capcom 1 with a new Hype and Rage montage, as well as a very special guest appearance from Mike Ross as we play another classic Marvel vs. Capcom title, being Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and Mike's kind of an interesting fellow because he just hates Marvel 3 to the core, while a lot of the Marvel 2 guys adopted Marvel 3 and have kind of just moved into it and accept the game for what it is. Mike just Mike is just so old school and homegrown on Marvel too that it's it's kind of an interesting set of games that we have so if you guys want to tune into that that's going to be max and mike ross versus the world coming up later this week as well once again dudes thank you very much for being patient with me with these videos i know that there's a lot of fighting games i've been covering over the past few months and i definitely want to bring back some of those fighting games that made you guys stick around this channel way back in 2011 and 2012 so let's get back into it let's learn marvel let's relearn how to play the game once again and see how it runs online with some online matches coming up very soon. Thank you all very much for watching. My name is Maximilian, and I'll see you guys later this week.